What's up guys, Capital Allocation here with another market update. So today I'm just gonna get straight into the update. Here you're looking at the S&P 500 daily chart. As you can see here, had a nice move towards the upside, breaking above this trend line. So I think we're gonna still need some confirmation to see if this is going to hold. One channel that I think is really good is Gregory Manorino. He also has a free newsletter. I encourage you guys to check that out. Uh, his predictions have been pretty accurate and, you know, he's saying this is a fear trade. This market's going way higher. I tend to agree with him. Now, whether we get more downside before that, difficult to say, but personally, I think, and I'll give you an example later in the video why at least I am trying to stay hedged in this market. We've seen extreme volatility and I'll... I'll show you that in a second. But again, we had this big move today. 10-year uh, yield settling above 2. Uh, looks like the momentum slowing. This is a controlled move. I think nothing to worry about. I think this is a good place for the 10-year. Put-to-call ratio, 1.02, so about flat here. Um, nothing major there. The VIX got hammered today towards the downside. I mentioned the other day we had kind of uh, three points where we had kind of hit some resistance here and I expected maybe we could head towards the downside. That does appear to be the case. And that allowed us to make that big move. And I think at this point the momentum is shifting back towards the downside uh, short of catastrophic events um, overseas which I would not rule out at the moment now the big news and I mentioned this and I think it was the last video my god I did not expect this though look at China I was telling you guys this index is down by 50 percent it was up here you know 97 now we're sitting here we hit 43 here so we were down more than 50% and I suggested, okay, you know, us, Europe and Russia are preoccupied at the moment. That's going to leave China as the big winner here. And I expected a move towards the upside where there would be a trading opportunity. Well, this index moved a good uh, 30 something percent towards the upside today on volume just incredible move here alibaba sorry about that guys uh alibaba i mentioned charlie munger was buying this and it was trending lower and he kept buying and so when i see something like that i know he knows what's going on at some of the higher levels and i expected this to turn around i think this was a 36 percent gain here on Baba today alone uh, but still if you look at historic prices here this is still cut in about a third so you're down about 60 something percent so this was a huge move and I, I personally don't chase monster moves like this hopefully we'll get a retracement and some kind of normalization uh, and move back to the upside we'll see uh, but I think it's still early days. Um, this is pretty insane, though, I think. Uh, with what's going on, it looks like oil is being traded in other currencies, and I think you're going to see that reflect. Uh, you're going to see China buying up assets, businesses, and with their Belt and Road, doing business all over the world. And I think that's going to eventually reflect in their prices, the valuations of their companies. Check this out. Baidu, this was on my watch list. Ah, sorry about that, guys, again. Not going to pay for this quite yet. But anyway, um, yeah, here we go. So Baidu was up here at 350. We're down here, so it got cut again two-thirds of the price. Had a 40% move today. We're up here towards resistance. I think this is a tough area to, yeah, 
we're up in resistance. This this looks pretty dangerous here in my opinion, but still down by two thirds. So again, this is basically the Google of China. And um, this is a huge company moving 40% in one day. And that's why I was saying if you can get a 40% move in a company this size, and if you can get a 30, 33, for example, percent move in the whole Chinese index in one day, you can certainly get moves like this towards the downside as well. And uh, yeah, that I think most investors uh, mentally probably wouldn't do well seeing moves like that. So uh, I think we've got a buying opportunity for good stocks in the market right now. But my personal strategy is to either hold puts or um, like Joel Greenblatt's strategy, you basically buy the best value companies and you short the most overvalued companies. You have to be careful because sometimes those companies have momentum. But yeah, there's a website called, I think it's, ah, what is that website? Magic investingformula.com I think it is check that out um, anyway it's an interesting website interesting strategy that he's got uh, Bitcoin again I we popped today popped up against uh, support here towards the upside I think we're hitting resistance here um, again we're seeing these moves going lower and lower um, so if we can't break up past maybe this 43 level, we're going to be retre retesting this trend line here. Uh, the main reason I was able to make this call that we were going to get a, a bounce here was looking at these Bitcoin shorts. So this had started to roll over. Um, and so to me, that indicated we were going to get a move. You know, these shorts were being reduced so i figured the price would go up we had the, i did not expect this exponential move like this but here we are and it looks like this move is slowing so if we get a reversal here you're going to see the price go down that's just how it is um it looks like that may happen we'll have to see how does this next candle form um but again we're going to bump up against a few key resistance levels first, maybe that around that $43,000 level and then up around 45 are these key levels where um, Bitcoin has had trouble moving up past those. So I expect that could continue uh, short of some catalyst. Uh, I don't see, and especially with interest rates, I mean, a quarter point is nothing, but uh, it's the psychological factor that they are attempting to raise rates and um, you know uh, Jeff Goonlock I, th I believe it was uh, look up his work he's a really really smart guy said they basically raise rates until something breaks and then that's the end of the cycle basically they follow the market and you know that's conflicting with Greg Manorino um, but we have seen that in the past in 2018, obviously 07, 08. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. I think that's why it's good to stay hedged, um, and be in the right assets. Monero, Monero is an interesting one here. This thing's grinding higher up past this trend line. Um, so we are still in a downtrend though i think this is one of those things simply i'm just trying to get into this and build a transaction network between like-minded individuals that's how we're going to get the price to go up i mean um, if you listen to john mcafee he's basically telling you uh, cryptos are not a way to make money they're a way to use money correctly and of course making money is good as well but really it's the network effect 
using it correctly, the money will come for sure. If you do that, if people continue to just speculate and gamble on, um, you know, digits, uh, something that can be shut off, it's not going to work. So yeah, not investment advice, but, uh, you got to use it. Otherwise it's worthless. So there you go. Pirate, pretty interesting here. We got this pennant, bull pennant, failed, got a, a nice cup. So are we going to get this handle? Are we going to break up above this $1.57 level? I hope so. That would be really cool. Can't guarantee it, though. We are up here at resistance. But we have this twist here. I mean, that's pretty interesting. This momentum is shifted. And um, I think... Brandon passed another $800 million bill to overseas, and there was just like a 13.6. They have to do the 13 and the 6 in the bill, of course. But, uh, yeah, clearly they're just trying to fleece us as much as possible before, um, I don't know, I guess currency reset or whatever, whatever the plan is. But clearly they're just blatantly in our face, um, robbing us blind. So, um, yeah, maybe... Uh, yeah, pirate, it seems like a better idea every day, doesn't it? I guess Jeff was, you know, years ahead. I That's the reason I got into all this was uh, TDV, basically. Or, I saw him went during the Bitcoin uh, run-up in 2017. And I just thought, oh, this, this, you know, interesting videos, kind of funny guy. Uh, I didn't believe everything, and then... I stopped listening to, I should have listened to him, you know, 2018, 2019, I'd be doing pretty darn well. I, I hope some of you guys were, but, uh, yeah, when I saw in 2020 that everything he said was completely right the whole time, it was just, like, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. So, yeah. So yeah, he's probably right again. And this is probably still early and this is probably still an extreme discount. In fact, like I said, if we can figure out how to use these things right, uh, then that's for sure the case. Darrow, Darrow, um, we had a really a head and shoulders here. This left shoulder, head, right shoulder um, broke down. I think the most likely scenario is we test this neckline here. Um, it's kind of a sloppy head and shoulders, but... Yeah, maybe 1190-ish. I mean, these are areas, so it's not precise, but I think looks like we're going to test this area. So we'll see Do we if we get a clear break above the neckline. We're heading into a lot of resistance. You can see all these topping tails. People were selling off, selling off, selling off. Um, so there's a lot of pressure towards the downside here. Um, so I think... Most likely, we're going to test this area. Uh, will we get rejected again? That seems to be the historical. Um, but we will see. Let me know what you guys think. I know the mainnet is launching. Uh, maybe when that does launch, that could be a catalyst if people get excited. Um, but uh, one to watch. It's in kind of... This is too choppy for me. I like something like this where you have this cluster this is a very obvious one here you have very tight range and then you have this move straight out not only above the resistance but above the trend line i mean that there you go that that's a nice looking trade but this for me too choppy too much work too much effort to just sit there and watch it all the time so that that's just me but let me know what you guys think i know a lot of people Love the Darrow out there and totally with you guys. Haven, all right, I got some shit for uh, saying this was pretty stable. Um, <laughs> right after I made that video, the thing moved. So, you know, what can you do when you see something moving above? Uh, when you see this volume coming in, there you go. That Something's going on. So, again, 
Um, that's why none of this is investing advice. I'm looking at what I'm telling you what I'm seeing at the time, and my opinion changes very rapidly. The next candle, I'll get a different idea of what's going to happen, and also the news can really affect what's going on here. To me, again, if we look at what happened with Pirate, this looks very similar. We had a bull pennant, so came up, had this little triangle pattern. Same thing, came up, we've got this triangle pattern. Um, but we do have this big rejection candle here, so... Again, this is a tough one. But if you look at the longer term, and I had... <laughs> I basically rang the alarm uh, way back here saying, you know this thing is dangerous. Like, it's not for me. Obviously, I'm not going to tell anyone what to do, but just saying it's not for me. Um, so, hey, hopefully I kept somebody out of some trouble with that one. But we do have this twist here. So what can I say? Long term, doesn't look too bad here. Um, but again, just strategically... Uh, when I get into something like this, all I can tell you is, again, how I'm thinking, and I'm always learning, so uh, it's just my current thought here is you wait until it get it pops above this resistance. You enter the trade, but you always have a target and a stop loss. So the thing I can't stand the most is when people comment or message me and they're down 80 percent you got to have a max loss in my opinion you can't just ride losses down 80 percent i don't think it's a good idea most of the time uh, unless you really have some inside information and then you keep buying i mean there are certain situations but generally trading you enter in a in a desirable area for example, you'll you'll find your target, it, whether that's double the price or whatever it is, and you'll want at least like a 2 to 1 ratio. So if it's 3.5, you'll go down. Your stop loss will be at, well, you would pretty much go under here, basically, under this support here. So whatever 2 to 1 is, just make sure you have that target and stop loss, uh, if that fits your strategy and your personality and all that. Gold, oh man, this one. Um, yeah, I wish I had more time. I would have brought that clip, but Gregory Manorino, he was saying, uh, JP Morgan said that inflation is going to increase and buy gold. And then he said, what, are they going to slam it down? Yeah, he was completely right. They literally told people to buy gold right before they freaking, I, I mean, this they must have been involved in this. It's pretty, pretty insane and pretty hilarious that they blatantly lie to people like that. But we do have this bullish hammer here. Um, we'll see. Uh, to me, to me, actually, platinum is more undervalued than gold here. But um, and especially with the the amount of platinum that Russia provides, and if that's getting cut off of the supply. Um, anyway, that's just a thought here, but. Hey, I buy dips like this, so I'm happy. Crude oil, thank God we dropped here. Um, this momentum looks to be slowing. We've kind of got, you know, this cluster here, which I believe will could act as resistance. So we'll probably flatten out here for a while, see what happens with this. Anyway, just a short video, guys. I saw these massive moves, and especially that with China is shocking that the entire index went up by a third in one day. It, it's a little bit freaky. So thanks for watching everyone. Take care, like subscribe, all that. If you, if you are so inclined, thanks guys. Take care. Bye.